My Story While watching Grey's Anatomy a while back, I heard a beautiful song called The Story, written by Phil Hanseroth, performed by Sada Ramirez. If you haven't heard it, you should make the time to, and really check out the lyrics. The song starts out with, All of these lines across my face tell you the story of who I am. It's true. The wrinkles and character lines on my own face definitely show my trials, tribulations, joys, sorrows, successes, and failures that have all combined to make me who I am. I was recently looking through some old photos with my children, and one of my daughters commented that I look just the same as I did in photos 10 years ago. She's being kind. I know I've changed, but I'm okay with it, and in fact, I'm embracing where I am right now. For instance, I still work out every day, but over the past 10 years, my mile time has definitely slowed down. I don't like that I've slowed a bit, but at least I'm still running. I'm embracing what I can do and what I am doing instead of what I can't. My eyesight is also starting to show me that I'm nearly 50 years old. I have great vision across the room and down the road to the next exit, but I now need reading glasses in order to read close up. At first when I noticed it happening, I fought it. I would only wear my glasses when I was alone in my office or for as brief a period as possible when I was around others. But finally, I decided to embrace it, and so I have now bought several pairs of cheap reading glasses, so I have one at work, one for reading before bed, one for my car, and one for elsewhere in the house. In fact, I bought a couple of really nerdy pairs, the nerdiest I could find, and I now wear them proudly with my smile on. More lyrics in the story say, But these stories don't mean anything when you've got no one to tell them to. It's true, I was made for you. With my new glasses, I see beautiful people, truly beautiful people, like the lady who sings this song and other actors and actresses on television, and like my own beautiful, beautiful daughters. They truly are beautiful to look at. I'm not like that, even though I'm cute and fun to be with, haha. But my family and friends will tell you that my wrinkles and character lines are beautiful to them. I'm so lucky, because I was made for them and they were made for me. They are part of my story. Actually, they are my story. Still more lyrics in the story say, So many stories of where I've been and how I got to where I am. When you read stories to children, the books have rhymes and pictures and flaps to open and usually end with happily ever after. When you read or watch stories for big people, like novels, movies, or TV shows, they are packed with drama. They go from introduction, to conflicts, to climax, to falling action, and then resolution. If they didn't have all of this action, we wouldn't watch or read them. Sometimes they end like we want them to, and sometimes they don't, especially like with our favorite TV dramas, which have season finales and leave us hanging for several months. We'd all love it if life was like the children's stories, but it's not. We have to live through parts of our stories that we didn't wish for. Many times we have to rewrite portions of our own stories depending on how things are going. But for me, the most important thing is that my story is one I can share and develop with my loved ones. And as I sit here today, in my reading glasses, I like my story. I haven't always liked all parts of it, but I'm good with where it is right now, and I'm looking forward to future chapters, endings, and sequels. Have a great day.